It's a science lesson. But it's also a life lesson about the dangers of vaping. Until they see it, until they do it, they're not necessarily going to actually believe it. A 2019 CDC survey showed e-cigarette usage is prevalent among young people, with 28% of high school teens and 11% of middle schoolers admitting they had recently used e-cigs. It can also be dangerous. Over 2,000 people have been hospitalized for lung issues related to vaping. That's where this experiment comes in. The steps to correct with young people is to seem to diminish its attractiveness for them to use. So that's why this program, I think, is very important. It was developed by Cornell. Bishop Lachlan Memorial High School in Clinton Hill is one of the first schools to use it. In this experiment, students used tetrahymena, a substance which mimics a living human cell. They introduced this e-cigarette juice to it, and the results are eye-opening. Tetrahymena actually die off, they, um, they slow down, their speeds decrease. When we put the e-cigarette juice in, like all the tetrahymena, it came close and it stopped swimming. So the black particles, it also replicate like metal that would be in our lungs, so it shows how it's bad for us. It's a scary lesson, but it's one students say they'll always remember. I'm definitely not going to try it because it's not healthy, it's not good for your lungs. Many people look to vaping as an alternative to smoking which could now could prove to people that vaping isn't very that much different from smoking. In Clinton Hill, Brooklyn, Emily Druby, Currents sure. News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.